Okay, welcome to the first uh, effect, the first built-in effect for this lesson. In this one, we're going to be building, um, or actually just learning how to use the sparkle effect. This is a very easy effect to use. Um, with all of these, what we're going to need is some kind of platform to kind of walk on. So let's go ahead and build that. Let's get a block, and uh, that gray color is fine. And I'll just rename this to platform. Okay, and let's change the size. Uh, also, we want to anchor it. And then let's change the size on this. So we want a nice long platform. So let's say on X, I'll make it 12. One for the height is fine. And then maybe 30 for the, for the length. And then we want to move it. Just next to our spawn location. That way we can walk onto this. Okay, now we have a platform. Now let's put something on it. So most of these effects, they require a part that they are attached to. Um, so let's go ahead and get a part to attach this effect to. So we have a sphere and uh, let's change the size. Let's go ahead and make this smaller. We'll make it a size one. Okay, and I'll make the color white. Okay, we also want to anchor this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and anchor it, and we'll just put it right next to the um, <clears throat> the spawn location. Okay, so now we have a a sphere, and I'm gonna rename this to Sparkle Source because it is going to be the source for our sparkle effect. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to attach. Well, actually, there's only two ways to attach these effects. Um, you can either use this little plus that happens anytime you hover over something here in the Explorer window, or you can go into the model menu and then click on effects right here. Okay. And if you click on this on the bottom part, you'll see that there are, looks like uh, 10 different effects. And the one that we're going to use <clears throat> right here is the sparkles effect. So if we click on that, it will attach a sparkles effect to our sparkle source and you can already see it working and there really are there are not um, a lot of settings for this basically you can turn it on and off with the enabled property so here I've turned it off with the enabled property turn it back on and then the only thing um, actually I don't even know what time scale I've never messed with this let's see what it does oh you know what <laughs> I didn't know it would do that. That's actually kind of neat. So you can slow down these sparkles. That actually looks pretty nice. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna change it back to, to one. And then the only thing we can change is the color. So I'm just gonna make these white. But I do like that time scale. That time scale is pretty neat. So I wonder what happens if you go to zero. Oh, they just stop completely. Wow, you know, I kind of I kind of like that. Huh, I think I'll leave it at 0.5. It looks nice okay and that's basically it for the sparkle effect the only thing the only other thing I would do is maybe make the sparkle source invisible so you could change that and get rid of it and then turn off the can collide property as well that way you can pass right through it <clears throat> but you might want to leave it on for certain certain effects and then let's test this okay so let's go ahead and hit the play button and let's see what this looks like and it looks good looks like sparkles and you can pass right through and I have sparkles coming off of me and yes this is just uh, I'm on the other side of my demo but uh, this looks great okay so this is the first effect just the sparkles effect very simple um, this is one of the easier effects to use and um, in the next video we'll learn how to use another effect so I will see you then <laughs>